Tonight, we're answering your good questions about the coronavirus. What if you don't feel comfortable returning to work? And how has COVID-19 impacted organ donation? Here's Joe Chiodo. Many of us are working from home right now, myself included. But what if I don't feel safe returning to the office once the stay at home order is lifted? Well, here's what we know so far. Kansas and Missouri's orders are set to lift next week. Viewer Regina emailed me saying, I work with kids with disabilities. Social distancing is impossible, and I'm in the older age range. What if I don't feel safe going back? Can I still get unemployment? I reached out to both states. The answer is vague. It's a case-by-case -case scenario, but this info may help. First things first, according to legal experts, fear is not a valid excuse for not returning. But if you have diagnosed anxiety and a doctor says coronavirus is worsening it, you could ask to work at home, per the Americans with Disabilities Act. You may also still qualify for unemployment in that case, if working from home isn't an option. That could be your best bet. You should also know the White House guidelines call for a three-phase return to work. Those who are vulnerable do not have to return to work until phase three. That should buy you some time. Vulnerable means the elderly or those with serious underlying health issues. But remember, these are guidelines, not orders. So it is up to each state whether or not to mandate your return. If you don't feel safe returning, start discussing your options with your employer now and reach out to the unemployment office as well. Our next question, can you get coronavirus from an organ donation? For this question, we went to the American Society of Transplantation. For those waiting for a donor, you should know this. According to the website, the risk is low. Donors are being screened for symptoms and exposure history, including travel. Living donors are also being screened. If they've been to a high-risk area or exposed to somebody with the virus, they must postpone donation for 14 to 28 days. They also can't travel to a high-risk area at least 14 days before for transplant. And speaking of organ donation, we are now learning new autopsy results are changing the timeline of the virus. One of our viewers asked, what is the earliest documented death from COVID-19? Up until last week, it was February 29th. But now we're learning two Californians died of COVID-19 weeks before that, a 57-year-old woman and a 69-year-old man. Neither had significant travel history. We had community transmission, probably to a significant degree, far earlier than we had known. California is now going back and reviewing autopsy cases all the way to December to see if any of those are COVID-related as well. Joe Chiodo, KCTV5 News. If you have a question you want Joe to answer, just email him at goodquestion at kctv5.com.